As of recent, Harbor Freight has released the knockoff version of the Buck 119. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at it. Stick around. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Thank you for taking time to click on this video and I do hope you find it resourceful. I wanna say this right off the bat. I'm by no means comparing this to the original buck knife. It's a classic blade. It's been around a long, long time. It's made here in the USA and it's even been showcased in the Hollywood film industry, such as the Scream movies. And if you're one of those who refuses to buy a blade that's made in China, well, the one we're gonna look at today is not going to interest you. Uh, the original buck is a USA made blade. Here's where I come in, okay? Y'all know on my channel, I review different price ranges. I'm not just the budget guy and I don't just do more expensive blades, but I do like to be here at times for those who have their eyes on the visual of a certain blade, but can't actually get the real thing. Now, I will tell you this much, it's not too difficult to save up 75 to 100 bucks to go ahead and just get the real thing because that's just my mentality nowadays, but I understand either way. Some folks are just gonna look at the price and that's gonna be their decision maker. Let's take a look at the Gordon. Now, I like a product that tells me everything I need to know right off the bat. We got a six inch blade. The tang stretches down into the handle like with the buck. The buck 119 is made of 420 high carbon steel, but this one is a 7CR17 MOV stainless steel. This is marketed as having a superior edge retention, synthetic resin handle, aluminum handguard, and a genuine leather sheath. Now, I'm going to take all of this out of the pack, but I wanted you to see it as it's packaged when you go into Harbor Freight. Now, I will say this sheath does have a nice feel to it. I'm going to put this down in here. That, that does have a nice look and feel to it. It's very similar to the, the buck setup. And uh, I think the sheath is nice, so I definitely give that a thumbs up. This one is six ounces, which is less than a half a pound. Now your buck 119 is 7.5 ounces, so there is a weight and quality difference there for sure. This thing is smoking sharp right out of the box and I'm starting to turn into George the Animal Steel here, so I'm gonna fix that right on up. Yeah, it's shaving sharp. Let's regulate some of this madness. Yeah, it's shaving sharp. It's taking the hair right off the arm. This is marketed as having a strong edge retention, but typically this type of steel loses its edge pretty quick. But if you keep it sharp, it's easy to sharpen. Like a lot of knives where the tang just stretches down into the handle, but doesn't come out the end, you're gonna struggle with things like throwing. You don't wanna throw stuff like this unless you just want the handle to get loose. You're asking for it. If you get out and throw this, it's, it's gonna loosen the handle because that's not what it's made for. Tell you what you can do though, you could skin whatever you wanted to with this thing. All right, I'm gonna do some reasonable testing with this blade just to kind of give you the basics of what you're gonna get. Now, is this built as strong as the buck? No, but it's 25% of the cost, but let's look at some reasonable tests. Let's start with the tip. Okay. I just dug into the wood there and the tip is gone, so. All I did was go into the, the wood. The tip is, that's what you got with the tip. Let's see what some throwing does to this handle. Let's miss on purpose a couple of times. I will tell you, she throws beautifully, even though she's not a throwing knife. The good news is those three hard misses hadn't tampered with the handle yet. It's still nice and tight. I know over time it would probably loosen, but one or two off throws is not gonna hurt you. Let's just see if some battery on this can loosen this handle up. See what it does to the steel. see here so far so good i've thrown this hard and missed on purpose just to see if i could knock that handle loose i've been you know doing some hard chopping and beating against a log you may or may not use this kind of knife for that kind of stuff you probably won't 
but I wanted to see what it could take. And so far the handle, there's just no give. It appears to be very, very nice and tight in there. This thing's really sharp, that's for sure. Seeing if I can get some play, seeing how tough this thing is. Beating the back of the blade, beating all over it. Sharp. Let's get right down to it. I think as far as budget blades are concerned, this most definitely has a, a solid handle construction. It comes with a razor sharp blade, but it also comes with a very volatile tip. I didn't put this tip through a whole lot. I just stuck it down in the wood and turned it a couple of times and it broke. The tip is gone. So if you're gonna do tip torture with this knife, this knife isn't for you. If you use the tip of a knife for things, just know that this one can't hold up. If all you're gonna do is slice, you'll be fine with this. If you're gonna do some batoning and splitting, you'll be fine. It's not gonna move, it's in there nice and solid. Harbor Freight's got a good return policy and I'm definitely gonna return this um, for an exchange. I now know what the blade is and isn't capable of and you can't mess with that tip. It breaks very easily. The rest of the blade, I give a thumbs up. It's definitely beautiful looking. It's very close to the original buck model if you just can't afford it. But the tip is no good, my friend. Uh, all in all, I think it's a solid blade for its cost. It's 25 bucks, but I wanted to give you the real deal on it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.